Item number SCP-5022 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Until testing is completed, all specimens of SCP-5022 are to be stored in a communal water tank, which is fitted with a water filtration device to ensure containment integrity. For research purposes, a camera system has been set up inside and outside the containment tank to constantly monitor the condition of all SCP-5022 specimens. Description SCP-5022 is a collective designation for the disembodied heads of 29 children of varying gender and ethnicity, all of which demonstrate the ability to reanimate when submerged in water. When active, SCP-5022 will move around the available area despite the lack of any visible means of propulsion, inspecting any foreign objects in a curious manner. When more than one SCP-5022 specimen is active within the same area, they will interact by crashing into each other at high speeds. The reason for this behavior is unknown. Although all SCP-5022 specimens remain silent when under direct observation, surveillance footage shows that when research personnel were not present, all specimens will giggle and laugh loudly despite their lack of focal organs. When removed from water, an SCP-5022 specimen will become inert and will cease all signs of life until returned. Addendum 5022-1 Discovery SCP-5022 was recovered from the home of elementary school teacher Dale Carlton on the 21st of June 2019, following the disappearance of his entire class during school hours. When authorities arrived at his home to question him, Mr. Carlton was absent, but all specimens of SCP-5022 were present in a water tank in his garage. Following initial containment, agents were dispatched to locate Mr. Carlton, finally uncovering him as he was attempting to flee the state. Despite attempts at negotiation, a chase ensues, culminating with Mr. Carlton driving off the end of the local pier. Inspection of the vehicle showed that he had been killed instantly during the crash by a decapitation. No personal possessions were found in Mr. Carlton's vehicle during investigation, save for a water-damaged copy of J. M. Berry's Peter Pan and Kensington Gardens in his breast pocket. Addendum 5022-2 Communication Attempts On three separate occasions, an SCP-5022 specimen has deviated from its usual pattern of behavior by expelling a large bubble from its mouth. This bubble was then risen upwards through the water, forming words before quickly breaking apart. These messages have been as follows. Swimming. Never grow up. I'm happy. <laughs>